Ladies and gentlemen of the Reject Nation, I'm only here to introduce this video to tell you <laughs> that everything you're about to hear is stupid. <laughs> it's all, it's all true. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Take it away, Coy. <laughs> As some of you may know, I host a show, a corner, if you will, of this very network called Koi's Comic Corner. As others of you may know, I uh, discuss comic books for a living and comic book movies, and as you're all about to find out, I've never seen Superman the movie in my life. I made a list of the top 25 comic films of all time, and upon reviewing the comments went, I just didn't think Superman was that great, and then went, I don't think I've seen Superman. And then Greg and I started talking, and he asked me what the plot of Superman was, and I didn't know. I've never seen Superman the movie, so you, dear citizens of the Reject Nation, are ready to join me as I find out, can a man fly? Will I believe it? Hit the like, hit a, hit a comment below, yell at me, it's inevitable. Let's see where this ranks in my movie comic experience, having never seen it. And if you'd like to do a full feature length sync it up with me watch it alongside check out the patreon this whole thing's gonna be there and this movie is very short and this is the very last thing i'm doing this leads right up to my birthday this is how i'm ending my my year let's find out christopher reeve i hear he's pretty good in the times of fear and confusion the job of informing the public is the responsibility of the daily planet a great metropolitan newspaper whose reputation for clarity and truth. Great intro. I like that this feels historic, and I imagine it even felt historic then. Like it feels timeless and, and important. That was cool. Man, I love miniatures. That's pretty. These are matters of undeniable fact. Dick Donner bringing that presence. The vote must be unanimous, Dora. You alone will condemn us if you wish, and you alone will be held responsible by me. <laughs> You will bow down before me, jor -El. I swear it. Both you, and then one day, your ass! This is so extreme in its composition. The sci-fi elements are, are a lot, and then the visual composition, they don't make a lot of movies uh, of this scope with that cinematography. I tell you that we must evacuate this planet immediately. It's your conclusions we find unsupportable. This planet will explode within 30 days, if not sooner. The decision of the council is final. I like the different family crests. It feels lived in, feels like there is history in them. But why Earth, Jurel? They're primitives, thousands of years behind us. You will need that advantage to survive. He'll be odd. Different. He'll be fast. Virtually invulnerable. Great exposition. But we will never leave you, even in the face of our death. Why would we include a piece of kryptonite? That was a great opening performance. I mean, it's Marlon Brando. What a cool way to show a planet ending as opposed to just blindly exploding, especially with what we know, the infrastructure of uh, the Fortress of Solitude and some of the comic imagery of Krypton. This is a really cool way to show the end of Krypton. This must have been surreal to see in a theater 
in the 70s. That was beautiful. Ah! What was that? Mon Pa Kent. Oh my. <laughs> Just a kid. Vibing. We could say he's the child of my cousin in North Dakota. And just now often. Now, you saw how we found it. <laughs> That's so clever. I like that. Nicely done. It's interesting. Is this so works for the time, but I wonder how, like, I feel like American audiences now are so cynical. I don't know how this would translate. Maybe that's why they're having a hard time. I, I love the hope and the the whimsy, the, the earnestness. Um... Maybe a period piece for Superman. Hey, Clark, let's have all those clothes washed Clark. and ready for tomorrow's game, yes, okay? Got to be numbered and high! Lana? Oh, good, it is Lana before Lois. I was curious if which storyline. A whole bunch of us are going up to Mary Ellen's. Would you like to come? Sure. Sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. They've got a lot of work to do. What are you talking about? I just finished stacking all, all that. Oh, Clean line. this up, Clark. I was getting bullied. Clark Kent. <laughs> Cheesy, but cute. Hey, look, there's Clark. <laughs> That's clever. There's one thing I do know, son, and that is you are here for a reason. It's not to score touchdowns. Good pa can't wisdom. This uh, so far is doing an incredible job with the exposition uh, and tear those guys apart is I'm pretty sure straight from the comic or a comic at least. It's got such honest sensibilities, um, which again, I, it's interesting if this would work today. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh, that's heartbreaking. It's just gonna happen like that. Oh, the heart attack arm and everything. Jonathan! I so... knew it had to happen some way, and well, that, that worked for me better than a tornado did. Oh, what a way to go, though. Good life lesson. Pass away quick. Proud of you, kid. Do you know where you're headed? North. Always remember. So far, it's a very sweet movie. Very sweet. As it should be. What's the first fight gonna be? I sense a fight coming. Polar bear? Sea beast? I mean, he went north. Strange way to get to Metropolis. Oh, of course, the Fortress of Solitude. I assumed he was going to Metropolis. I don't know why. This makes way more sense. Who are you as a man, kal -El? This dude's in this a lot. I assumed it would be Christopher Reeves all the time. Is this Christopher Reeves? Is it already Christopher Reeves? Is that Christopher Reeves? Is there an age gap? Like, is there a time jump? What's happening? Fascinated by the relationship with kryptonite. Seems to be some sort of activator in this case. Which makes some sense if it also hurt him. Does not seem to hurt him. He's 
like those little geodes you can grow in a lab. I'm your father. By now you will have reached your 18th year. I will have been dead for many thousands of your years. Interesting. If they're just spelling it out. Who am I? Your name is Kalel. You are the only survivor of the planet Krypton. Even though you've been raised as a human being, you are not one of them. That is a cool shot, man. Come with me now, my son, as we break through the bars of your earthly confinement, traveling through time and space. Your powers will far exceed those of mortal. It is forbidden for you to interfere with human history. Very trippy. I like how disorientingly psychedelic <laughs> it is at times. For this reason, above all, their capacity for good, I have sent them you. That was cool. I like that. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. That was rad. I like it. <laughs> Love that. That was such a great way to come back, to do some time playing, to, to evolve him. Take note, modern movies. That was awesome. Cheese and bloodletting. Two. <laughs> what a great Jimmy Olsen. How do you spell massacre? Uh, M-A-S-S. In the comic book, she historically has uh, grammatical and spelling errors, even as one of the greatest Pulitzer Prize winning uh, journalists of all time. Lois Lane, say hello to Clark Kent. Told you one Oh, that's Christopher Reeve. It wasn't the same guy. Uh, they aged him up, changed the cast, forgot what he looked like. I apologize. Uh, Lois, why don't you take Kent out to uh, meet everybody, huh? Sure. Just introduce him around. Yeah. Great uh, body language. I know I've seen the gif of him, like, turning into Superman, but it's really impressive to see in the minutia of uh, of the office. It's cool. I was wondering if, if um, perhaps you could arrange for half my salary to be, to be sent to this address on a weekly basis. He sends a check every week to his sweet gray-haired old mother. Actually, she's silver-haired. ha, ha, ha. There are very few people left in the world who feel comfortable saying that word. What word? Swell. Really? Oh, it sounds kind of natural. I love how clumsy he is to <laughs> throw people off. It is so good. He's incredible as Clark. I am. I get it. I get it. Please don't point that at me, sir. You could hurt somebody with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Now, come on, lady. Hand it over. Lois, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, Lois. Clark! What happened? You fainted. Sorry. He's exceptional. Armis, Armis, make it track 22. I seen him and I'm right on him. Lower level, track 22. What a great stooge, well cast little henchman. Tone of womp, 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 womp. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> First act of Lex Luthor killing a cop. Sick. Did Gene Hackman not shave his head for Lex Luthor? Is that explained? Maybe that's explained. How many girls do you know who have a Park Avenue address like this one? 200 feet below. Do you realize what people are shelling out up there for a few miserable rooms off a common elevator? What, what more, more could, could anyone ask? 
<laughs> Superman's gonna have to save Lois. Uh oh. That's cool, like practical, like they mess shit up. <laughs> I would get away from there, Pope. Go, go. Jurassic Park, I see where you got some of this sequencing from. <laughs> Telephone booth. <laughs> oh, it's just a half. <laughs> That's good. Easy, miss. I've got you. you you've got me. Who's got you? <laughs> That's where that line came from. I know it from Jay and Silent Bob. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Incredible. That's so well done. It's the opposite of uh, the Captain America. Curl is the straight arm I guess that would be deltoid some lats extension statistically speaking of course it's still the safest way to travel <laughs> he's so good at Superman who are you a friend bye <laughs> all right I believe a man can fly that's freaking cool Especially in 78. This must have blown minds. Come on, Tom. Tom Cruise doing the work. Oh, that's a cool shot. Yes, the booty. Yeah, I get the, uh, the Clark Kent Superman duality hype. This is impressive. Ha <laughs> ha. That shot was great, too. Take him away. <laughs> These five minutes of Supermaning are better than a lot of the Superman stuff I've seen. Move your ass! Come on! Come on! <laughs> He's not mad. He's disappointed. Hey, Frisky, will you come down from there? Gotta save a kitten. What Superman without saving a kitten? Here you go, miss. Gee, thanks, mister. Oh. Bye, Frisky. Long now. Bye. He's so polite saying highs and byes. A lot of greetings. The Superman. Man, well, can this work today? People didn't say hi or bye in regular life. Only one half in showers, wind 24025, altimeter 9 or 9 or 8. Roger. Well, doesn't look too good. What do you think? What the hell was what that? Happened? Not good. Hell, we lost the whole engine. Pressure's gone. Shut down number one. Number one throttle closed. Yeah, bring up two and three. Man, that pressure decrease four. Now decrease four. As Superman just said, statistically the safest. We got two accidents in Metropolis. They're nearby. Come on. One human error, one nature. It's not safe to fly near Metropolis. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of the Superman Returns um, imagery plays a lot better having seen the original. Because of 
any human being were going to perpetrate such a fantastic hoax, it would have been me. <gasps> okay, good. If Lex isn't bald, I got concerns. I want the real story. I want the inside dope on this guy. Has he got a family? What is the S? Night at eight, your place. Family? Hopefully, Tell a me. friend. He gets it out of him. He's going to wind up with the single most important interview since. Solid casting. God talk to Moses. <laughs> Especially. Without, again, there's no precedent of, of superhero movies or comic book movies. And it isn't too hokey. It's just really sincere. And, and it's good. It's a good movie. Sorry to uh, drop in on you like this, Miss Lane, but I've been thinking, you know, there must be a lot of questions about me that people in the world would like to know the answer. Of course, yes. Uh... Uh, you really shouldn't smoke, you know, Miss Lane. Don't tell me. Lung cancer, right? I mean, yeah. Not yet, thank goodness. <laughs> do you have a girlfriend uh no i don't but uh if i did miss lane you'd be the first to know about it <laughs> uh is it true that uh you can see through anything uh yes i can uh -oh. what color underwear am i wearing i sort of have a problem seeing through lead oh that's interesting pink <laughs> cute this is all very cute i come from a planet called krypton with a C R I? Uh, no, no actu actually, it's Krypton with a K R Y P T O N. Do you like pink? <laughs> I like pink very much, Lois. Why are you here? There must be a reason for you to be here. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm here to fight for truth and justice in the American way. <laughs> You're going to end up fighting every elected official in this country. <laughs> Think right with me? You mean I could fly? <laughs> well, actually, uh, I'd be handling the flying if that's okay. I need a sweater. It must be kind of cold. No, you'd be warm enough. They're very cute. Good chemistry. Ah. <laughs> it's funny because this feels... Not quite like Peter Pan, but the, the, the flight style, this does remind me of Peter Pan and Wendy. I wonder how. Yeah, this is very cute. Physics don't make a lot of sense, but it's very cute. If you need a friend, I'm the one to fly to. If you need to be loved, here I am. See, that's how you fly with Superman. It's not like a weird touch thing where it gives you powers. That's That makes more sense. Night. Oh, good night. What a superman. He said the thing. Uh, Lois, we uh, did, did have a date tonight, uh, remember? Oh. Lois? Huh? You haven't been, uh, hmm? I better get a coat. Uh, it might be kind okay. of cold up. No, I mean, uh, I need a person I have to fix my hair, some blush on. <laughs> that's the moment I've seen. That's really special. That's some Alexander technique. That is. That was beautiful. But he's got to go back to being Clark. <laughs> Practical stunts for life. Hey, look at that. That's pretty fast. Odd. Look at this dispatch from Addis Ababa. People break into a museum in the dead of night, kill two people, and what do they take? A worthless piece of meteorite. Now, how do you figure that? That was found inexplicably from looking in an encyclopedia. We released two thousands of air ducts in the city, effectively annihilating half the population of Metropolis. Well, I was a reporter before most of my friends were copy boys. <laughs> How did his clothes just change? That doesn't make... What? What? That's not a power. That doesn't make any sense. It occurs to me that a 500 megaton bomb planted at just a proper point would... Uh, would destroy most of California. Hello, new West Coast. My West Coast. Marina Deluxe. Butterfly. 
millions of people's lives don't matter, but, uh, well, they do, but they really do. Because so does Lois Lane's life on the fault line. That's kryptonite, Superman. Little souvenir for the old hometown. <sighs> we all have our little faults. Mine's in California. Clever. Good use of pun. Faulty wordplay. Lex, my mother lives in Hackensack. Dark. If I help you, do you promise to save my mother first? I promise. I promise. Top Gun Maverick. I did not expect it to actually detonate. Oh, he's going to go back in time. He's got to, because uh, they're not supposed to meddle uh, human history, but I imagine he'll rationalize it. What's going on? What's that? It's a quake. Look, we're right up. This is pretty rad, like, scope for the third act. That's impressive special effects. Come on, Superman, put them all back together. Amazing Spider-Man 33 cover, but with Superman lifting the entire San Andreas fault. <laughs> and still saving the children. Okay, kids, it's all right now. Hey, it's Superman. <laughs> Gotta keep diving in holes, Superman. I guess it must be another movie where he goes back in time. Get out of there, Jimmy! Hang on, Jim. A noble tradition begins. Jeez, come on, turn up. Which in some areas of the Come on! Oh no, right into a sinkhole. That is terrifying. Cool practical effects to have that. Ooh, the claustrophobia is real. Nope. Nope. Don't like that. Look at that. Oh, those are little miniatures. Look at them. I can only tell because it's in like 4K, but that was a really cool use of practical into miniatures. It is so dark that he's helping this, saving people, but drowning Lois in rocks. Man, the tension. I know she's going to be fine, but man, it's great. Great work. No way do they kill Lois in the first movie and then he flies back in time. Is that what's happening? Do they kill Lois Lane? In that horrific, terrifying, claustrophobia-inducing, buried-alive way. Ah! Ah! Oh. My son. It is forbidden for you to interfere in human history. One thing I do know, son, and that is you are here for a reason. Gotta stand against his father's wishes. 
He may be fast enough to reverse time, but he's not fast enough to fight fast enough over those mountain ridges to save her simultaneously while she's, you know, being buried alive. That's so cool. Look at those effects. I love reverse photography like that. Come on, Superman! So he's already stopped Missile 1 at this point. There he is. Can't believe they killed Lois. Movie 1. Superman cares about everybody, Jimmy. But, uh, who knows someday, you know, if he's lucky. <laughs> Just flies him into prison. That's my tomorrow. Otis Wall. Good evening, Warden. I think these two men should be safe here with you now. So they never showed Gene Hackman actually bald. They just imply he's always wearing wigs. Oh, I was... Lex Luthor! They saved it for the last appearance? I believe a man can fly. I liked that. Look at that Alex Ross painting come to life. Well, this preceded Alex Ross' paintings, but look at that. That reminded me a lot of Superman Blue, which came out much later. Uh, that reminded me a lot of All-Star Superman, also came out much later. Those are my two reading recommendations for y'all, All-Star Superman and uh, Superman Blue. I really enjoyed that. I can't believe I'd never seen it. I think I'd maybe seen, I don't know, the, obviously the GIFs uh, and, and maybe five minutes on like TNT growing up, but I didn't remember the plot. I'd obviously seen the, you know, the reversing of the planet in pop culture, but I uh, kept doubting myself as to, to when it was. Uh, so I liked it a lot. It will likely rank in my 26 to 50, which we're going to convince Greg to let me do. Um, it's probably in the top 20% of superhero movies, but I would not put it in my top 10%. Uh, there's probably like 250 comic movies, so top 20% would be that 26 to 50. Um, I, I see why it's beloved. I definitely like have so much reverence for it. it it influenced so many things uh it did dive me crazy and this is a problem i have with a lot of movies um when there's two movies uh that don't feel like they're one movie i love when movies feel like you know disparate movies that all come together at the end but at no point did it feel like gene hackman's lex luther was in the same movie as christopher reeve's superman uh, I really enjoyed the Christopher Reeve Superman movie, and I really enjoyed his relationship with Lois. I really enjoyed the magic and, and earnesty and sheer honesty and almost this golly gee shucks uh, whimsy of the Superman movie. But the reason that worked is because it was earnest in its honesty, and I feel like the Gene Hackman Lex Luthor was a satirical play on 50s um, editorial comic books. It felt like it was making a commentary on the golden age uh, comic book uh, Sunday newspaper era. And so it felt like there was there was two different performances happening. And the one I enjoyed fit with Marlon Brando, fit with the backstory, fit with all these things. But whenever they cut to Lex, it didn't feel like the same movie. And even scenes with Superman and Lex felt a little disjointed. So um, everything with Superman I really loved. Uh, I would probably give... The, and like that's it, with the times and everything else, the special effects really special. Loved the use of miniatures. Loved how tangible it felt. Loved the scope. Loved the uh, power of the score. Loved the, the feel of the movie. They don't make movies like this where you feel so much. And I think the reason it's so hard to make a Superman movie is because you need that golly gee... Man, this guy's a Boy Scout. Man, I believe in him. The physicality between Clark Kent and Superman was so special. I'm really excited to see the Dick Donner cut of Superman 2, to be honest, now that I've seen this. Uh, this probably lands at like a four stars for me. Um, this is like a B plus, A minus. This will likely fall in that 26 to 50 of, of superhero movies. Need to look at the rest of my rankings. I'm going to continue that ranking to, to build it out because I want to know where this lands. But I'm um, really glad to have seen it. I definitely have not seen this one, which means I definitely haven't seen Superman 2, 3, or 4. Uh, I'm going to go B plus, A minus. I'm going to go four stars. Really, really special film. I see why it's revered. I cannot imagine watching it then. I can't like I got so many moments of of whoa and wonder and and power in 2022 
I cannot imagine seeing this 35 years ago. 34 for you math wizards. 34 years ago, uh, just what this must have been. So incredible film. I see why it's a lot of people's top 10. I see why everyone yelled at me in the chat. I deserve to get those comments, uh, but now I've seen it and uh, four stars. Really, really spectacular experience. Things that really worked were Margot Kidder and Christopher Reeve's. The movie, things that worked, Margot Kidder and Christopher Reeve's relationship, I thought was really special. Uh, Jimmy Olsen, though a small part, was very, very integral to both building the world and establishing how people would perceive Superman from that like eye line. Uh, Perry White and the Daily Planet, everything with the Daily Planet really worked. Um, I was really impressed at the Clark Kent duality. I kept thinking how impressive that was. Uh, we're now in the closing credits. And Marlon Brando and Gene Hackman are both billed above Chris Reeve. That is fascinating. Also, I kept seeing someone walk around with a mustache that I felt like must be someone that would end up later. And it looks just like um, Kiefer Sutherland's dad, Donald Sutherland. I don't think Donald Sutherland was in this, but I kept seeing an almost Donald Sutherland walking around the streets of Metropolis. Like twice he popped up. I even pointed him out. Um, yeah, I, I was just so, so impressed with the world built. Um, I was so impressed with what it was able to do with exposition. It unloaded so much exposition on you. It br gave you Marlon Brando exposition. It gave you lots and lots of fairly hokey, uh, Lex Luthor exposition. It gave you lots of where Superman came from and what his powers are. Um, didn't love the sometimes powers are convenient. Like the speed thing is obviously hard to clock, but it did bother me that he couldn't get to her in time, but could turn the planet. I get it is, you know, dramatic. Uh, and I get that's necessary for the storytelling, but I wish there was something else that impeded him. Maybe, um, kryptonite poisoning, uh, something that slowed him down. He had to shake it. To speed. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm not writing Superman 1978 over, uh, and another, another slight qualm, um, was the, weird power to change clothes in the sky uh one of the special things of superman is those grounded moments like the photo booth and things so that that was odd uh i couldn't tell if he could read minds at one point um it was like she was thinking and wondering if she if he was reading her mind sometimes his body language seemed to imply that he could read her mind i could not quite tell what was happening there uh, but those are all minor qualms like that's me looking for things uh to be bothered by or to you know, feel about it. Um, I don't know if I'd seen it um, at any different point in my life that would change. I was really trying consciously to look at this objectively, regardless of seeing it in 2022 versus seeing it as a child. Uh, I think I definitely would have loved it as much as I loved it now as a kid. Uh, I think I would have gotten the same sense of wonder. Uh, it definitely endears me to Dick Donner even more. Richard Donner's always been one of my favorite directors. The Lethal Weapon franchise is one of my all-time favorite franchises ever. Um, Dick Donner and Schumacher were really good friends and those are two of my favorite directors and they, cal uh, you know, uh, uh, calibrated, they, uh, they coordinated a lot. They collaborated. That's the word I was looking for. It's late. They collaborated a lot. And this reminded me of how special of a filmmaker, cause it's hard. You don't often get to see new works of old works of your favorite filmmaker. So it was really special to see a Richard Donner film I hadn't seen before, especially one as iconic as this. Uh, and it lived up to the very lofty expectations of what Superman, the movie had to be. To have all that reference. I don't know why they saved bald Gene Hackman for the very end. Uh, I wonder if that was like scheduling stuff. But uh, yeah, got a whole lot out of it. Really, really am glad to have seen it. Really curious about the second one. Really curious where it falls off. Apparently with the third and fourth. Uh, I haven't seen Superman Returns. The Brandon Routh Superman since theaters. So I think the last time I saw that would have been 06, 07. Whenever that came out. Um, so that's 15 years ago at this point. So it'd be really cool to watch Superman 2, probably the Dick Donner cut, and then watch Superman Returns as sort of a trilogy. So that's what I might do with uh, with this series. So if you want to see that, leave a comment below if you enjoyed this, if you've got any notes as to why the bald cap or uh, the power adjustments and those things that I had tiny qualms with, please do let me know. Uh, and let me know what you think of this this rewatch of a movie 34 years ago. It was cool to do something so classic and so different that I just somehow didn't see in my 33 years. I'm turning 34 at midnight in a few minutes, and that was a 34-year-old movie. Feels like fate, don't it? Uh, all right, that is going to do it, you lovelies. I appreciate y'all very, very much. Please do leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to this very channel. If you want to see me more uh, on these giant rewatches of full features, let me know. If you want me to watch Superman 2, let me know. If you think I should do Superman 1 and Superman 2 and then Batman, uh, Batman Returns, Superman Returns, let me know. 
let Greg know. You want me to do 26 through 50 so I can rank this here film somewhere in there? I do think it's going to fall in that 26 to 50 range. Um, there's a lot of four-star uh, comic book films for me, and uh, this is definitely in there. This is going to be up there, but, you know, in that top top 20% of all of them. Uh, all right, like I said, that's going to do it. Your lovelies, have a great night. We'll see you, hopefully, for Superman 2.